Alright, so we're doing some fillets on the big iris, and I've come to the conclusion that the consistency of your Splenda and your epoxy should be about that, is what I prefer, because it kind of fills itself in a little bit more and makes them nice and smooth. So, on that note, I'm going to hand this to Dan, and he's going to pour it in for me. Trusty, see where the focus is. PVC filleting device. Wow. And as always, a quick shout out to Crazy Jim because without his information on the use of denatured alcohol, fillet making would be a disaster or pain. I would hate it. That's just the sound of the epoxy setting, that getting into position. Uh, me having some of the leftovers on the stick. <laughs> oh yeah. Because it is tasty. Always use Splenda. Uh, last time we used Splenda Crazy Jim had something to say about ants all over his rocket. That's just not true. It's not even real sugar. They don't like bad stuff. Alright. So I'm going to dip this in the denatured alcohol again, give it one more pass, because we kind of tried to figure out how we were going to record this video first. So now it's starting to thicken up a little bit. And for anybody new to high power that's watching this, don't uh, try and do a pass from the middle of the fillet if you're using this method because it won't work. And there you go. That's the Braden and Brian fillet masterclass a la Crazy Jim. Smooth as butter. <laughs> 